Okay, so I'm getting ready for work right now, um, and this isn't like a makeup primer or anything, but I'm going to be doing my makeup while I talk to you, because I'm in a hurry and I wanted to get this out. So, have you ever seen the movie The Lost Boys? And if you haven't, you don't really need to, but um, Corey Haim and somebody else, Jason Patrick, move with their mom, Diane Wiest, to Santa Clara, California, anyway, um, to live with their crazy grandpa. and. Uh, they're freaked out because their grandpa doesn't have a TV. And then there are also vampires, but that's that's not the point of this. Um, and then they see that he gets TV Guide, and they're like, oh, you have a TV? And he's like, no, you read TV Guide, you don't need a TV. And that's kind of the way I think. Like, I read about TV and what's going to be on, and then I don't need to watch it because I read about it already. So this morning, I'm reading about what's going to be on TV in the fall. And there's a thing on Dancing with the Stars. And this actually came out a few days ago, so you've probably already heard about it, and I'm not telling you anything brand new that you don't know. But, um, hi kitten. Hi feral kitten. Ooh, pet, pet, pet. Anyway, so I'm reading through, and it's like, name I don't know, name I don't know, and Osmond, uh, name I don't know, and then I'm like, you know, these aren't really stars. This is nobody that I've even heard of. And granted, I'm kind of out of the loop on a lot of things. But, you know, I've never heard of any of these people. And then I see that Tom DeLonge is going to be on Dancing with the Stars. And I was like, well, finally, somebody I know. He's the guitarist from um, Blink-182. And so I'm all excited. Not, well, excited that I saw a name I know because I very often don't, especially when reality show contestants then go on other reality shows because they became famous from a reality show. And I have no idea who these people are because, um, yeah, I, if you don't watch a reality show, then that person isn't famous because they didn't actually do anything but go on TV. Um, so I was all excited to see Tom DeLonge's name because he was actually somebody that I knew. And then I realized it was even better. I had read it wrong. It wasn't Tom DeLonge. It was Tom DeLay. And for those of you that aren't in the United States, um, Tom DeLay was the Republican majority leader during uh, a lot of George Bush's reign in Congress. Um, they called him the hammer um, because he was really like, he made sure that every single Republican stuck to the Republican party line. And if you didn't, he would fuck you up. Anyway, um, and then he got indicted by a grand jury for um, campaign finance fraud. So he couldn't be in Congress anymore. So I just kind of dismissed him from my brain because, you know, it's not the George W. Bush reign anymore. And, um, you know, he was out of my sight, so I never really thought about it. He is going to do Dancing with the Stars. He's like in his mid-60s, a former congressman, disgraced congressman from Texas, and he's going to do ballroom dancing on television. That's kind of... Simultaneously, the reason I don't watch TV, and I kind of wish I had a TV, because it'll be so funny. But then, if you think, why are, you, why are we putting a congressman on TV doing competitive ballroom dancing? I'm really confused. But um, I almost kind of sort of want to watch it, and of course I won't because, um, you know, I would have to like buy a television and then get it hooked up, and that would be ridiculous for like one show and like two days of lulls, but I'm definitely going to watch the clips on YouTube because it's kind of hilarious. Um, I think I would have liked it better had it been Tom DeLong. He would have had a better chance of winning, but Tom DeLay, come on, that's fucking hilarious. Okay, um, yeah, that's about it. All right. Doo -doo -doo. Bye!